So, welcome to another video. Now, I arrived in Las Americas last night and I just wanted to do a little hotel tour of Hotel La Siesta where we're staying. You're gonna have to bear with me on this one because I only got here yesterday and I'm only here for two days. So what we'll do is we'll walk around together and let's just figure it out as we're going around. So at least then you'll see it as I'm seeing it. We'll just give you some sort of a bearings. We're in uh, Las Americas, as I've said, uh, and it's literally across the road from Park Santiago One. And this is the hotel here, La Siesta. So I'm just gonna pop my mask on and we'll just go for a walk around and you can just see, see what I see. Um, I'll tell you something, we've, I've been here only stayed for one night and to be honest with you, we've enjoyed it. Um, Christy's been here for the whole week, but like I said, I'm here for two, two nights, but yeah, let me take you on a tour and uh, I'll show you around the hotel. So we've got the main entrance and the big reception area, which is lovely. Um, there's a couple of cigarette vending machines over there. I think that's like a water fountain that's normally on. Then as you walk around here, there's a big gift shop. I personally have not bought anything from there yet, but I know Christy got said uh, a rash vest from there, which he's been wearing around the pool. Um, you can continue down here. I just think it's got like these little like, seating areas. Um, but it's nice. You can tell like certain parts of the hotel have been done up. I think they're uh, refurbing it as they go. But look, lovely seating areas. Um, like I said, I've only been here a day, so I've not seen how busy it is. Then you've got a, a bar here, which um, I don't think is open yet. But uh, there's also a stage right at the back of the bar, which you can see there. Uh, and then if you go down here, down these steps, this is the restaurant. Now I had uh, breakfast here, and the breakfast was absolutely lovely. It was absolutely spot on. So, oh, I don't know if we'll be able to take you in there now, because I think it's closed, but yeah. It's quite a big, uh, big area. Um, and you have all your hot breakfast, you know, all your continental, and all your coffees and stuff like that. So we're just back in the reception area. And if you just walk out this way here, there is, um, I don't even know what this is, a little area, which is, I don't know, I think that's just a, like somewhere to park your bikes maybe. I don't understand what these are, I don't know if these are just some sort of decorations. Um, yeah, and then there's a walkway here to um, like a big car park at the back. I think if we continue down here, there is some, um, maybe tennis courts, something like that. I'll just continue down here and have a look. Yeah, so right at the back there is some uh, tennis courts. Now, I don't know what the situation with these, if you have to hire them or whatever, but these are just here at the, at the bottom of the car park. So just in the back into the reception, and you've got the elevators there to go up to the rooms. And from there, then you go outside to the main event, which is the pool area. I can take my mask off now. So, this is the main pool area. There's a little area up here with some pool tables and stuff, which I'll just take and show you now. Um, we've not used these, but I've seen quite a few kids over here playing and stuff like that. So, like I said, there's the main pool area. And it's got this little section here, which has, uh, Two pool tables. There's a little, uh, little like merry-go-round, merry-go-round for children. Um, you know, something that kids love. Little Euro, one Euro machines. Uh, there's a big seating terrace here, um, and then there's a table tennis there on this stage. There's also another bar area. Obviously, because we've we've not stayed in at night. Maybe there's a disco here, I'm not actually sure, but it looks really nice. Um, I'll have to ask Christy when I, when I go and see her in a minute what, what actually goes on up here. But there's a, I'll tell you what there is over there, there's like a Josper oven, you know, where they cook certain types of meats. But yeah, so this is, a, this is up here on the top. So I'll just go down to the pool area now. So this is the main pool area. You can see it's really busy. We're actually here on a bank holiday weekend, so there's plenty of kids here. 
there's actually like a little fashion show on today which is just there but this is the main pool this pool here is heated as you can see these water slides on and stuff like that um, and then if I carry on to spin around here I might have to put some music over this because obviously if we get copyrighted there's another big pool here but this pool here is not heated it's cold so but you can see there's all the kids I see Seb's there at the top there top of the slide coming down but yeah there's also a, um, a wellness and spa center which we've not had a look at but um yeah so as you can see there's a little gym area which is just down there that's something we've been using to be honest with you if i come down here i think this is magic park which is like a soft play center for children uh, Seb's a little bit old for all this now, you know, Seb's nine, so he's just been enjoying it in the pool, but yeah, let's continue down here because I'm, I'm learning this as we go, I've not been down here yet, but it says there's a pool and basketball, I don't know if it's an arcade room, but we're going to find out in a minute, so, oh yeah, so there's actually an indoor area which has got a pool table, foosball, basketball and a few arcades. I'm actually really surprised Seb didn't ask me to bring him down here. He probably doesn't know about it. So what I'm going to do now is, obviously, I'm going to take you back round to the pool area and to give you another quick water in. I tell you, the pool area is, it is really good. So I'm going to spin you back round now, and I'll take you through to the pool area again. So, uh, another view of the pool area, like I said, main pool area, um, which this pool here is heated. Then this smaller pool area there, which is not heated, and then right over the other side there, there's a, like a splash pad. What I'll do is, I'll walk over to the splash pad and show you the splash pad. There's also a, there's also a restaurant there, or you know, which is really really good. Um, Seb's had a few hot dogs and things from there. So this is the kids' uh, splash area. As you can see up at the top there. I think these special beds that you can reserve for a day, a week. I don't know what that is, but. Yeah, there's some special beds up there at the top. Uh, they look really nice. Uh, obviously, that's a separate thing, I think. Could be wrong, but I'm, I'll probably presume it's a separate thing. So Chris just advised me from the splash area, if you walk up here, it's actually a park for the kids, which obviously I didn't know about. So, I'll just quickly show you the park. So, this is the park here. Um, I think it's another one that, you know, I don't think it has been playing in here, but it's a great little area for the kids. Especially if you've got young ones, it's all secure. Um, so yeah, this is the park here. And I think, if we continue up here, I don't know if this is just like a little seating area. I don't know what this is, but let's continue. So yeah, there's like a, um, I don't know what this area is here, but it's, it's some sort of, for bowls, to play bowls or something. Some sort of Spanish game, maybe. And there's a wall over here with um, like a with hooks on it. I don't know if it's like a ring toss game or something. Uh, put your comments below if you know what these games are. So there's that one there, and then there's this game here. I was wondering, just to give you an indication where the hotel is. We're really close to loads of shops and stuff. Honestly, it's a it's a great uh, area where it is. Um, and like we said the other day, you walk in McDonald's and it's literally just down the road. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the hotel tour. Well, let, before, we, before I sign out of this part of the video, let me ask Seb, what's your favourite part of this hotel? Probably the pool. Yeah, the pool. The pool area is amazing and I'm obviously just showing you guys. But at this point now, I'm going to do a little room tour and I'll insert it here. Uh, so yeah, we'll show you the rooms. So, I'll give you a quick room tour. We're in room 273 and I'll quickly show you around. As you come through the door, You've got um, some double wardrobes here, which are great, you know, all our stuff's in here. And there's actually a, a safe in the room. Uh, you've got a little area to put your suitcase. I'll show you the bathroom. Like I said to people before, it is a little bit dated in here, but it's clean and, you know, it totally does the job. You've got a big, big mirror. Um, you've got a toilet and obviously you've got like a traditional P day here. Shower, shower's absolutely great, you know. Every day, clean towels. Um, you also get like a little desk here with a chair, which we've not really used. 
Uh, there's Seb on his iPad. Say hello to the camera, Seb. Hi. Yes, yeah, so Seb's on his iPad. So these are actually like uh, beds that pull out. So we've got one set up there for Seb, and then we've got the other one just obviously, which we're just using to sit on. Uh, obviously, you've got a TV, and then you've got two single beds next to each other. Um, there also was a table originally in the room, but because we we always we just leave the bed bed out, we just put it outside because otherwise, you know, it would just become a bit tight on the floor. Um, outside, there's you know a couple of chairs and a table. This is the balcony and the view we've got. I don't know if you can see. You can see out to the sea there. Uh, we love sitting on here. We sit at night time when we get back, we just spend half an hour here. Just there's people watching because there's plenty going on down below. And another thing that's great, there's a little drying rack for your clothes. When we've been to the pool, we just put all our bits and bats on that. But yeah, that really concludes the room tour. Um, you know, it's just a basic room. Oh, another thing there is, just show this to you quickly, there is actually a mini bar. Um, I think you have to pay for the mini bar. It's 25 euros um, and it's fully stocked. So at this point now it's, it's locked with the, with, a, with the key. I think they must just open it and then obviously, you know, you can drink and eat whatever's in it. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy the room tour and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. I keep saying one more thing. There's actually aircon in the room as well, um, which works great. So, you know, there's an aircon vent here, which is quite important, you know, to a lot of people. So, yeah, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, room tour and the hotel tour. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. So, don't forget this week to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know when our awesome videos are out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!